All right. So you've probably seen those crazy cinematic AI ads going viral stuff that looks like it came straight out of a movie trailer. Like the Red Bull can that drops in slow motion, the perfume bottle floating in mist, or a sneaker rising from a neon city. You've seen them, right? They look like they cost $100,000. But here's the secret they were made with a single prompt, using a structure called JSON. I know that word sounds scary or technical, but don't worry. You don't need to be a coder. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in the easiest way possible, even if you're a complete beginner. Trust me, I tried a lot of tools and VEO3 paired with this style of structured prompt. It's game changing. Let's break it all down from the top. So first, what even is JSON prompting? It's basically a clean way to organize your idea for the AI using labeled sections like description, camera, motion, and lighting. That's it. Instead of throwing a big messy sentence into the prompt box, you're giving the AI a clear plan like a movie director giving instructions to the crew. And here's the best part. You don't even have to write it from scratch. This is what I usually say to ChatGPT. Hey, help me create a cinematic VEO3 video ad prompt. Use this format with description, style, camera, lighting, motion, ending everything. Ask me questions first, then give me the full prompt. Simple. So for example, let's say I told ChatGPT, make it feel like time freezes when the Red Bull can drops. Add athletes, glowing wings, slow motion. Then I just say, give me JSON format. And boom. ChatGPT gives me a perfectly formatted block that looks like this. Here's the structure it uses. Description, style, camera, lighting, environment, Elements, motion, ending, text, keywords. Now it fills that out based on your idea. No code, no symbols, just a clean readable structure that VO3 understands perfectly. All right, so now let me walk you through three real examples I made. I'm telling you these results are insane. First, the Red Bull AD. Then I pasted that into VO3. Set it to V3 fast with audio and let it cook. And wow, the final video looked like a full-on ad agency production. Wings bursting, motion loops, athletes spinning in air, it was perfect. Zero editing, just pure AI. All right, next one, the perfume ad. This time I wanted something elegant and mysterious, like a Dior commercial, soft mist, magical lighting, luxury vibe. So I told ChatGPT, Make a luxury perfume ad, something dreamlike. Floating bottle, glowing runes, black silk background. Then I said, give me the JSON format. Again, ChatGPT built the full prompt using that same structure description, style, camera, lighting, motion, and so on. I dropped it into VEO3. And I'm not joking, it looked like a Vogue level fashion film. The bottle floated out of the mist, purple glow around it. Runes spinning with no VFX needed. Just that prompt. No camera crew, no after effects, just Jason and imagination. And finally, the sneaker ad. I wanted something futuristic, clean, a bit cyberpunk. So I said, make it look like the sneaker is rising from a futuristic city, neon lights, crowd frozen around it. Feels like something out of a tech trailer. Again, same process. ChatGPT gave me the structure. I customized a few words like the motion and the lighting and dropped it into VEO3. And once again, wow, the sneaker lifted through fog. Neon cables wrapped around it. Reflections on the wet street. It looked like a Nike ad from the future. So here's the big takeaway. You don't have to learn JSON code. You just have to tell ChatGPT what you want and say, give me JSON format. It'll build the full thing for you. Then just paste the JSON block in, choose the V3 fast model with audio if you like, and generate. You'll be shocked at how clean it looks. I tried energy ads, luxury ads, tech products, and honestly, all of them turned out amazing. You don't need special skills. 
You just need structure, and that's exactly what this gives you. I'm dropping the full JSON prompt examples in our Telegram channel, so go check that out. And if you want more tutorials like this breakdowns, prompt templates, and actual project walkthroughs, make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more coming. See you in the next one.